Let's get back to Iraq and bring in Bartle Bull. He says this, that right now, this could be the right time for adventurous investors to put your money into Iraq. Bartle Bull joins us now in New York. What? <laughs> okay, let's get this right. You run a fund, you collect money together here in America, and then you invest it in Iraq. You're the guy who brings it all together and places the investment. American dollars go over there, right? That's, That's right, Stuart, exactly. You've got $5 million over there, correct? Correct. And you think now is a good time to add to that? Now is a good time? I think it's a very good time, Stuart. Um, we're sitting on a, um, a decent amount of cash right now, which I'm looking forward to start getting into the market in as Iraq. soon as tomorrow. In Iraq. In you Iraq, into the local in stock market in Baghdad, the Iraq Stock Exchange, it's called. Um, market's down about 11% since the beginning of this recent violence um, in the middle of last week. But the currency has been... Um, Solid for the last few days, and the it's Iraqi solid for the last few days. It's yeah, and, and well, indeed, it's an oil it's, it's, it's an oil currency. Remember, sure. So you know, over the long and, and Iraq is embarking on the biggest oil export boom of all time. So you, so the think, currency okay, so is actually it's a, a very attractive part of this scenario. All right, so it's an oil price play. I put my money into Iraq, and essentially, I'm putting it into an oil operation. Essentially, that's what I'm doing. Can I get my money out whenever I want it? We haven't seen any disruptions to capital flows over the That's last few days. That's not my question, Bartle. If I give you a million dollars today and you put it into Iraq tomorrow morning and I want it back the day after, can I get it back? We haven't tried it this week, I, I, I must confess. And we're, in fact, we're going to be sending money in in the short term, not taking it out. So um, is there any I don't question see about whether I can get it back or not? In all the experience that we've had, we, we're dealing with the right people, knowing who we know, with the right local stockbrokers and so on. We've seen trouble with some local stockbrokers and we've seen no trouble at all with others. So well, I think it's a, a matter of getting, of course it's a, it's a risk, risk. of course okay. it's a risk. Right. Everything is a risk so in these markets. The greater risk that I take, the greater the reward that I expect. If I give you a million dollars today and you put it into Iraq tomorrow, just give me a rough idea what, what reward I can expect. I think over, say, a three to five year view, which is how we look at things, that we'd expect to make two to four or more times our money. Ah, so you're offering me a doubling of my million, if not a quadrupling of my million. That's what we're hoping for. And I must say, you know, most of the money that I manage um, belongs to people who are very close to my firm or, or, or to um, uh, partners and founders like myself. And so, um, and, uh, you, you know, this, this is the, the, uh, very much so. And I uh, intend if things, yeah, and if things continue to soften this month. Soften. I in <laughs> <laughs> Implode? Well, soften 10%. I mean, 10% is not much within the tolerance of why, why double uh, why, frontier markets investors. Well, why double or quadruple? What's the rationale that you could quadruple The underlying your money profits, it's a really good question. The, the, uh, underlying, over the long term, all of these things are driven by the underlying profits of the companies that you own. And we own a small number of companies that we've known well for years that are players who've proven themselves able to make money in a very, very difficult market, but that also happens to be one of the fastest growing economies of any significance on the planet well, and, and soon to be very, very week, rich. Until it was a week ago. The result, the events of the last week have been very spectacular, but there is a, a, we need to look at them closely, I think, to understand the real implications. We can get into the politics if we have time, but um, I think a lot of this is overblown. Uh, frontier markets investors are natural contrarians. We go to places that other people don't like, and they usually don't like them for a reason. Overblown? So, uh, yeah. This is a civil, uh, murderous civil war with terrorists. Well, I'd love to correct that if we have time, Stuart. Uh, the, terrorist, part is, seconds. terrorist part is accurate. There are four to 5,000 of them. Half of them are foreign. They don't have a chance of holding any of this new territory over you know any meaning. Hmm. 4,000 people, of whom half are Tunisians and Chechens? Fat chance. Okay. All right, Bartle Bull, it's, it's interesting. And you got, uh, you got more time than we were allotting to you in the first place because you were interesting. Okay? Well, thank you, Stuart. It's been a pleasure to be back with you. Good luck, man. See you later.